you sneak and expect today. Today we have Adonis Linux. Adonis, and you're saying, is that from Greece? No, it's from the United States of America. West Virginia, to be precise. This guy over there, put a bit of a Debian thing going down here with XFCE. And there's another one as well, I'm going to show you that in a minute. But anyway, I've installed it on the system and see how it's going to check it out. Now it's basic pure Debian, okay? Pure Debian. So there is no uh, proprietary stuff involved whatsoever, okay? Got a bit of a conky going down over here. As you can see, our Linux kernel is 3.2.0.2686 with the PAE extension for nothing. The host name is Adonis, as you would think, so root file system, blah, blah, blah. It's only recognizing one of my processor cores here at the moment, so that was one little niggly diggly diddly bit, but hey, no big deal at the moment, because it's having to look at it really. It's not in full production, and not too many people are using it just yet, okay? It's using about 150 megabytes of my RAM that I've given it, and it's using half oh, my disk. I've given it 8 gigs disk, so yeah, there's usually no swap. And as you can see, Exorg is using everything at the moment, and XFC and all that's here. It's XFC 4.8, it's not 4.10, it's what I'll tell you that first. Look at the old scoreboard and all that. So, we go down. We have Minimizer Windows, Application Finder, Chrome Arm. Get it for your editing of your text files, and the terminal, and Thunar, and folders. Home folder, actually, to be really honest with you. Right. You can right click the desktop, and you can get this as well to change stuff, open the terminal, or go straight to applications from there, so that's rather nice. Or you can go to your desktop settings, which I'm just going to quickly do. And we can change to our desktop wallpaper, wallpaper even, if we want to do so, which is alright. So I'm going to close out just now for now. Okay, back to our menu. It's basic XFCE, but set out very differently. Not the usual sort of fonts you're used to using, so hey, you may like it, you may not. I'm just a messenger, don't shoot me just yet. So we've got run program, we have terminal, we have the file manager, we have the mail reader, which is, what it is, I've actually forgot. There's no application selected, only MUT. Okay, so we'll cancel that. So MUT is just the basic one here. You have to download your old ones, or your own ones even. Under settings, we have our XFC settings, so there's loads and loads of here to play with, loads and loads and loads and loads, loads, all your stuff's here. Synaptic is here, that is the basic software center from Debian, so that's all right. Not that it works perfect every time, okay? Which I have found before anyway, okay? You'll, you will have to install the non-free flash, okay, via the terminal to get it all to work, okay, okay, easy to do. It's just a sudo apt get install non-free flash bloody 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 blah and it will install for you and off you go super duper under accessories we have the application finder as already said Brazero, a bulk rename get it again orage i like orage all right the root terminal squeeze which is an archive manager by the way another terminal thunar and the xfce print dialog and print manager under development we get genie i like a bit of genie and graphics right i installed blender right but I'll get a seg fault. And I had this the other night with a couple of other Debian stuff I've done. Every time you install Blender and you try to run it, it goes nah and has a seg fault. Okay, so that's no good, is it? Okay, where was we? Okay, back to graphics. F Spot and Gimpy all oh, work. I'll open Gimpy up for a second just to see. As you can see, it's all super fast, super duper, whoosh over the top, and we're there. Lovely. Goodbye. Next, I don't do more graphics really because LibreOffice draws there. It's got the full LibreOffice suite, by the way. Forgot to tell you that bit. Under t internet, or t t internet, even if you're from up north, Chromium, as I've said before, a Gmail notifier for your Gmail stuff if you're going to use Gmail, Ice Weasel, a pigeon transmission, and XChat, super. Multimedia, I've already said Brazero. Now, I installed Ganesh just in case, okay, but Ganesh still isn't caught up with everything yet. It's just so behind, so you can't really use it as a, a, a plugin for Flash, really. Minitube works okay, I'll open it up for you, but one big thing, you can't get the uh, quality to change. So even though I've got it set at 720, I can't watch it at 720, if you know what I mean. A little bit of a bummer. I installed that as well, by the way, just to make sure. Okay, where was I? Oh yeah. You get a mixer, you get rhythm box, woo, my favourite, and VLC to play all your VLC stuff. You may have to put some non-free codecs in if you want to play everything, but normally you should be able to get it to go unkeely dory. Under Office, as I said before, we get the LibreOffice writer. Doesn't take too long. And there we are. The version we are at at the moment is. Let's have a look. Four. Oh, sorry, three point four point six. Build six zero two. Thank you. That's okay. That's all right. So that all works anyway. Okay, where else can we go? Well, I said orange, didn't we? Set office tonight, and there's orange in there. You get system as well as and bleach bit is in there to have a bit of a clean up. G parted, of course. 
the software center is here which I'm going to open up for you it's not actually fixed quite yet remember this is still in development this one still in development and you'll see what I mean really quickly oh no it's fixed itself now when you first do the first lot of updates this is all blank now I've just done another 22 and it's all done itself so you can do electric sheep for doing sheep stuff Pinot messenger for messenger and stuff Fregative for mapping stuff and other stuff for doing stuff and stuff most of the time you can install everything from here but if not there's good old synaptic package manager is there for you to use which is very nice for me and you okay so i'll go down to the system again you'll see what i mean there we go synaptic package manager we're gonna open it up because we like you i've done my password already yeah 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 takes a little while to do and there you go don't forget if you're new to synaptic you're gonna have to reload it the first time you use it otherwise it's not going to play ball okay but i can go now see you later bye bye Right, on the whole, I've had quite fun using it actually. It's quite quick for a Debian one, but there's a lot of Debian distros coming out at the moment using XFCE and Openbox and a lot of other stuff, all based on a new Deb, okay? I ain't got a big deal with that, but they need to make them a bit different. This one is very, very, very similar to, what should I say, what's it called? Pins of an S. Semplice. Well, I know Semplice uses Openbox. They're on the same go, going down the road, whereas Descent and some of the others are going on a different way, okay? Do you know what I'm saying? Of course you know what I'm saying. Well, what else can I show you, really? No, oh, I know, I was going to say, yeah. We'll open up Chromium. We won't open up Ace Rizal. We'll open up Chromium instead. And there we go. And you go straight to their page. Now you can download it from here or Distro Watch or wherever you want, really. It's up to you. Now, this is one we're using today is the Adonis Linux XFCE version, which uses 4.8. Blah, 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 blah. Bearing in mind, you're going to have to partition your disk yourself, okay? It's just not an auto partitioner, but most of you should know how to do that. If you don't, time you learnt, really, eh? Yeah, okay. And the second one you can download is Adonis Linux Aurora Edition. That's based off Ubuntu 1204 and comes with Cinnamon and GNOME 3. So you will have to have a nice, nice, nice desktop for that and a decent graphics card or an Intel one to make it work nicey nicey. And finally, they do a server edition as well. These are all available to download now, okay? So it's entirely up to you what you want to do. There's a wiki, wiki as well. The jungle is massive for you to have a look at if you so wish to do so. Now he's up. Not too much here at the moment. It's all in development, as you so know. Okay. What I was going to say? Well, not a lot really. Now it's still in development, and normally I wouldn't give it a mark. But as it's getting better and better and better, I thought I will do this time. So this time I'm going to give it 75%. A little bit more work, and it'll be ready to go. What should we do, Dar? Sneaky Linux out. I see you later. Bye bye.